In this video, I'm going to show you how you can choose a checkout page on a per product basis. So I'm inside of the upsell plugin settings page here and I'm on the pages tab. So here the checkout page we have selected as checkout for our global checkout page. So if we go to our products and I'm just going to go to this um, new course product. So right now it's going to it's set to see that global checkout page. So if I go to the purchase URL, let me open this up in a new incognito window. So right now when we go here, it is looking at our global, our main checkout page. So if I go ahead and go to the checkout tab, checkout settings right here, you have an option custom checkout page. So you can actually choose any other page that's already created on your website to become the new checkout page. So let's, let, let's say we want this one to be using our new checkout test page. I choose that and it's still going to utilize all the different field settings and everything that you have set up. But I'm simply just saying instead of looking at our global checkout page, we now want to utilize the new checkout test page that we created. So this can be any page that you create and you can choose for every single product, you can choose a, a specific page. Again, you just want to make sure that the upsell checkout form short code is on the new page, on your page that you're sending them to the checkout. But let me update this. And if I refresh this page, you'll see that it's the same product, but the page is going to be completely different because we're now utilizing that new test page that I created. Now you see it's using that new page that we just assigned, but for the same product, the new course product. So that's how you can set up any page that you'd like at, for a specific checkout page for a specific product. So you have the global checkout page, but then you can assign a specific checkout page for any product that you have created. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks.